The Düsseldorf Airport, one of many gates to the world here in Germany. It is handicapped accessible on ground level and offers a lot of help and service possibilities for people with disabilities. Helga Hahn has been in a wheelchair for about four years now. He travels by car, with public transportation and also on planes. But different to pedestrians, he has to prepare a trip differently and that is not always easy. People with disabilities need different and much more information before they can go on a trip. The biggest problem we have is the representation of the information. How is it presented? Is the information available for the different target groups? Or is the information not sufficient for me? And where can I then receive more information beyond that? For people with disabilities, information is particularly important. Is the museum accessible? How do I get there? All this and much more is checked by NATCO, the national coordination point of tourism for everyone. Helga Hahn and Guido Frank are very exact. Every small piece of information can be important for a tourist planning a trip. After all, when in doubt, a traveler will probably not visit an exhibition with barriers and barricades. But if he knows this place is free of obstacles, it becomes an interesting goal for the trip. Ultimately, everyone has to decide what he can do and what he can't do based on this information. And therefore, it should be as detailed as possible. So if I say a ramp has a 10% incline, then there are some people who say, oh, that's not a problem. And others say, oh, that won't be so easy, I will have to take someone to help. The same goes for toilets, because everyone has a different disability and they all have to be dealt with differently. According to the Federal Statistical Office, about 7 million people living in Germany have a disability. A major target group for hotels, transportation companies, tour operators or other service providers. Helga Hahn knows that many vendors recognized this a long time ago, but he is surprised that the information is not centralized and difficult to access. He believes that basically people who have a disability only have to know what to expect and then they can adjust to the situation then travel would be a much smaller problem. By the way, this is also true for mothers with strollers or people with poor stamina, making the target group for information about distance or accessibility even bigger. Only one problem remains, the toilet and trains or airplanes. The standard wheelchairs normally don't fit through the doors.